this is one of our rail cars. Got me in here on the PSC here by the 15. All of the suspect siding. There she is. And then what we do now is we'll remove the end, the end caps and then I'll go ahead and do the grand inspection. So have a stand, the guy the person goes in, and checks it. If it gets all set, I'll go ahead and break it over. And then move it into uh, the grand stand. Back in November, December time frame, we have those here. And those will be all coming with the dolly and they'll move those over into the stand and bring them over to the stand. It's just amazing. I was just telling Mike, I'm astonished at how big it's going to be. It's going to be a giant rocket. It's going to be amazing when we have our next launch next year. What's next? What's next? Yeah. Look, I mean, this morning I got to see the Orion capsule. Here we're seeing all the segments of the booster, and we're getting ready to fly next year. And it's going to be another great year for HEAL. Let's get in front of it. Yeah. I want to talk to about the 386. After we get the grade inspection completely done, we break it on over to the, to the vertical where it's just literally hanging there. We bring it in here. You take it right over, you know, you have your little cone effect. You bring it up here on the 386 and then set it there. And then they bust this ring off. This is the ring that was on here. And they, they have a body. You should have seen that event with a big breaker bar and it popped. Every single one of these popped. What's the duration? It's usually between one and three hours. Um, the exit cones that you saw down there will mate right up underneath here to a flange. And that's what, what gives you the bell shape that you need to give you the proper thrust. Put around in there so that we can stand up in there and actually do that work to make that mate. And it's a tight space, you're up there. Um, and somebody has to be right there in between the TVCs because that's where the alignment pin is for 90 degrees. And in my day, I used to weigh about 100 pounds. And so that was me all the time, stuck right in there in between, down from where it used to sit. Um, so we put some new, new hard stays in. Uh, I helped out with that. that a little bit. Uh, Compared to the shuttle, shuttle design, the floor is back. So if you'd like, we could go. So this is the outskirt and going to make right here. Uh, just a few hours ago, you would have seen all 177 days there. But north of Grumman Mace. Yes, it's all, it's all there. So the thrust vector control system runs off hydrazine. So these panels here is where we load the hydrazine. We covered it up with uh, plastic to keep the integrity of their inspections and it's ready to go on the day. So, so Kathy, yeah, kind of question about the, the cables. This will be completely full of, of cables. One other thing, in the middle of, the, of both, so the cables will be on each side where these brackets are. Yeah. So, yes. So I'm not sure if you.